Hi everyone, this is Amanda with Arc Artistic Expressions and I am going to do another shape pour for you today and it's going to be a Christmas tree. And I am doing it on a bigger canvas. I have not tried the shape pours on a big canvas yet. And it's not a huge canvas, it's 12 by 24, but it's bigger than the ones I've used in the past. So um, I am going to attempt to try that on this canvas, so wish me luck. Um, so I have a tutorial for how to mix my paints. I have linked it up. Um, you can find it in the descriptive box at the bottom of this video. And um, it will give you all the ratios that you need um, for mixing the white paint and the colored paint that, that I'll be using in my Christmas tree. Now, the colors that I'm using, I'm using for the base, for the white on the outside is um, Apple Barrel White Matte. So for the um, tree itself, I'll be using um, the Light Green Permanent by Liquitex. I'm also using another shade of green. It's Sap Green by Amsterdam. And then I'm gonna add some pops of gold and red in the tree. And the gold that I'm using is the Light Gold um, from Amsterdam. And the red that I'm gonna use to add to my Christmas tree is Liquitex um, Cadmium Red Deep Hue. So those are the five colors that I'm using for this specific shape pour. I already have them mixed up. They're in my bottles, they're labeled, they're ready to go. Um, like I said in my past videos, I like the small bottles to use because it gives me more control. Um, I use the small a small bottle of white to do the outline and then I fill in the Christmas tree with my other small bottles of colored paint. And when I'm finished with that, I will add the white on the outside and then I'll blow it out. So I'm going to start by, um, I've leveled my canvas. Like I said, this is a 12 by 24 canvas. Um, I have gone ahead and kind of drawn the outline of my Christmas tree. I want it to become tall and skinny. And um, I will add limbs with my little swirl technique that I use. So I'm going to start by outlining the Christmas tree in white. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do so that my tree does pop, um, I'm gonna start with my dark, my deep green um, by Amsterdam, the sap green. I am going to do the inside lining of the Christmas tree with this deep green. All right, so now I'm gonna add like little, little puddles of red and in gold um, throughout the Christmas tree, and then I'll add the, the light green and the dark green to kind of fill it in. Okay, I'm gonna start with red first. Okay, so now I'm going to add my gold. I'm just going to randomly plop my puddles of gold. Oops. Might add a little bit of red right here. All right, I think I'm spread out pretty good. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have much color on this corner. Be a little bit of gold at the top, or red at the top. Now I'm just going to lay the, um, the light green down, just in between the ornaments. I haven't decided, I think maybe I'll just do um, layers of light green and layers of dark green. All 
All right, now I'm gonna add some, I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the spot with the dark green. I think there's one. I think I've got all my spots filled in. Now I do have some bubbles, so I'm gonna torch it to get rid of these bubbles. All right, now I'm gonna use my big bottle of um, apple barrel white to apply it on the outside of the Christmas tree. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna spread it out with a craft stick and go over the sides. So now I'm going to push some of the white over the edge. Ooh, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna add a little bit of white around the outside of the Christmas tree. I'm gonna blow it over and then blow it out in all the directions. I'm gonna blow it out first, blow it in on it and um, on low, and then I'll use high to blow it out the rest of the way. All right, I got a few bubbles. I'm gonna pop those. All right, so now I'm gonna take the um, the diffuser off the end of my little flower here and blow the center out to try to clear it out so some of the white, and then I'll blow from the center out in all directions. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it at the top first. shape of the Christmas tree, right with the branches. I'm making a huge mess. So I blew it out and I am going to let it sit for a minute and do its thing. That's when the cells start to pop out. All right, so I've let it sit for about 10 minutes. Um, the tree came out really good. There was a section over here I was a little worried about because there was a whole bunch of green that had blown off, but I'm just going to um, add some 
little dabs of white there to fill that in. So there's a couple of spots that I want to kind of fill in with some, add some white cells to. Like this little spot up here, I'm just gonna add a couple of little white dots. They'll blend in with the rest of the cells that are there. And then one right here. All right, I think it looks really good except for down here at the bottom. I'm gonna go around behind the camera and work on the bottom left corner of the Christmas tree. Okay, so I'm just adding little dabs of white using the same apple barrel. I just put it in a little cup and I'm using a, a like a cocktail stick, the end of it, just to kind of pick up a glob and dab it where I want to. I'm adding my swirls in and the swirls that I'm going to use for this one I'm gonna do them a little bit differently because I want them to kind of look like the branches of a tree. So let me get my dot tool. Um, I forgot the name of this tool, but it's for um, dot painting and it just works really well. Um, it's got the metal um, ball at the end and that glides across the canvas really well. It doesn't catch on anything. And so how I'm gonna do that is I'm just going to take my white this is my little container and I'm going to just add a couple dots going up like a line of dots I need that little spot right there And then I'll use the other edge of this. I'll go ahead and show you what it does, if you can see it. Um, I'm just gonna drag my the smallest end through the dots that I just drew, that I, that I laid down, and it's gonna kind of um, give a pattern. I think I wanna add a little more white to this right here though. I make sure that whenever I do, um, before I drag it through, that there is a, a good amount of white in the little puddle that's right in front of the dots so that I can carry that through all of the dots that I'm using. But what I'll do is I'll start at the bottom and I'll do these little patterns going up. And then I'll work my way up to the side. I don't want to leave them there too long, so. So it kind of gives a little bit of texture to the edge of the Christmas tree. All right, 
think I'm good with my little dots. I'm going to go through and make my swirls. Almost done. I think I want to do something with the top. I really like that it's, I want it to be more pointed. So I think I'm going to add some white dots just to kind of shape it. Alright, so now, I saw this video, how long are you? I think, I'm just going to do a little bit of touch-ups and I think I'm done. Done. Okay, I think I, I think that does it. I think I'm completely done with this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, it's really long again. I just have such a hard time condensing my videos. Maybe when I edit this, I'll shorten it. Um, but I hope that you guys have a great week, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you try it out. Thanks. Bye. All right, I wanted to show you what the final product looked like, dry. So here is the Christmas tree that I just created, but it looks like dry. And I wanted to show it next to the one that I originally posted. This one has the little ornament swirls. Um, I've already resined this one, so it's nice and shiny. But this is the original. 
and this is Christmas tree number two. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you try it out. Thanks.